1926, American author Zane Grey published his iconic book, Tales of an Angler's El Dorado, in which he described coming to New Zealand and discovering a fishery that was the stuff that dreams were made of. I'd resign myself to the fact that I wouldn't get the opportunity to experience a fishery in such pristine condition, that is, until I went to this place, the Wanganella Banks. A place that's affected me more than any other and one that I think about every day. And this week, we're going back. We're going back to the banks on a journey to the Anglers El Dorado. Never been anywhere in my life that stuck with me as much as the Wanganilla Banks had. I went there 12 months ago and had the absolute trip of a lifetime. And luckily for me, my good mate Neil, the skipper of destiny, has invited me back. So after a very busy 12 hours, I've joined four of my mates. We're heading up the east coast of New Zealand. And in about 45 hours, we'll be arriving at a place that Barely a day has gone by in the past 12 months that I haven't thought about. The finest striped marlin fishery on earth, the Wanganella Bank. So I'm going to try and film the whole adventure myself. We've got eager anticipation hanging in the air. Obviously some nervousness about the 350 nautical mile journey ahead, but so excited. It's an understatement. Can't wait to get up there. You, let's do this. <laughs> Well, after a couple of pretty long nights and a couple of bumpy days, we're getting pretty close to the Wanganella Banks now. I just shot upstairs and Neil tells me we're about 20 nautical miles away. So, better start rigging some lures and getting ready because we are about to hit the promised land. I, like many fishermen in New Zealand, grew up absolutely enamored with Zane Gray's Tales of an Angler's El Dorado and I thought to myself how epic it would be to be able to fish in those sort of conditions and having been to this place before, I think this is as close as we're ever going to get. So let's hope the fish are home, let's hope they're hungry, we're into it. There's one on here, look, one close, there's one on close. Yeah boy, we have arrived. With so many days of travel to get to the banks, there's a lot of time to think about the trip ahead and there's always that nagging question That's in the back of my mind are boy. the fish actually going to be there so when that first mile of the trip suddenly materializes behind the lures it's fair to say there's a sigh of relief and it's time to go to work singing that sweet banks song nice destiny's a pretty unique boat we fight all the marlin off the bow of the boat that gives us the chance to keep nice. fishing with lures out the back as soon as we grab the leader, we walk down to the back of the boat, release the fish as quick as we can, and get straight back into the action. Marlin about to come in the gear. There's Marlin everywhere. Run on the teaser. Pull that teaser in, pull that teaser in. Pull it in, pull it in! He's on you Dave! Well the banks certainly aren't disappointing. We're 200 nautical miles from the nearest land and the fishing is going off. After two days of travel, no bites, to finally be in here amongst the action is exactly what we came yes! for. Yes! What a bite!
Welcome to the Wanganellas, brother. That's not a bad place to be. Woo! Multiple hookups certainly are the norm up here. So as soon as we get more than two or three fish on, the boat gets taken out of gear. Everybody chooses their corner. We sit back, fight the fish, and enjoy the show. Three fish on. How many fish? Three. Well, day one on the Wanganella Banks and it is doing what the Wanganella Banks does best pushing up meatballs, multiple strikes, pack attacks all those awesome things that marlin fishermen dream of and as I stand here watching Scott wind his fish I can look around and see a huge meatball unbelievable see that over there? It's unbelievable! This is the Wanganella Banks. Here we go, there he is. Step back, mate. Oh, there he is. Good fish. Walk down, Scooby. Good fish, man. That's quite big. Yeah, it's a big one. Huge one. When he goes side on, he looks pretty big. Well, it's been a hectic little period. Some of the hottest marlin action I've ever seen. Fish feeding, biting. He'll be right. Three way. The Wanganella Bank. Woo! It sounds like sewing machines. It's a lot of line exiting reels rather fast here. With this number of fish around, it's a real opportunity to learn all the skills that you only get one or two chances a year to do at home. And that's nice. about as close to a marlin boot camp Short as I'm ever going to get. We're all learning about drag control, how to fight fish, how to leader, all the stuff that hopefully awesome. will help make us better fishermen. Woohoo! Go big fella. Come on. Nice fish. Come on, off you go. Come away. Nice Lovely. Whoa. Whoa. I get as much of a kick out of filming marlin jumping around as I do actually fighting them. So to come to a place where I get the opportunity to swing my camera on so many spectacular fish really is a privilege. Every fish we're catching up the Wanganella banks is on light gauge hooks and we're swinging on them as hard as we can. Up here the idea is to get the fish healthy and swimming as quickly as possible because that way we can have a chance at catching more and a lot of the time I'm pulling on that leader as hard as I can and we have very few hooks breaking and if we can pop the fish off on the leader all the better for us, all the better for the fish and we can get straight back into it. When we're finding the fish in patches like this we really need to get the lures back in the water as quickly as possible after we've released the fish. So the lures are getting re-rigged while someone's fighting the fish. As soon as we get the boat moving the lures are straight back in there and we can maximise those patches of fish we're finding up here. You're still on me. Come on. Come on. Yes. I think the biggest lesson I've learned on these trips is drag control. You don't need a lot of drag to catch these striped marlin. As soon as the fish bites or if it's jumping and getting aerial, I just back the drag off as much as I can. Give it a chance to do its thing, we get behind the fish. If I need to pop it up, I give as much drag as I need. The light gauge hooks are strong, but you certainly don't need to pull the fish to you. Well, as you can see, unfortunately, the sun's setting behind me on day one of our return to the banks adventure. The worst part about that is it means we have to pull the lures in, but it's been a breathtaking day. It's been everything that is special about the Wanganella Bank. Seen marlin as they've been since the dawn of time. Just free swimming, eating bait fish. I don't know how many we caught today, but it's been a very special day. Magic action, something that I remember for a long time. So it's a privilege to be back here. 
it's been a good day. And the best part is tomorrow we get to do it all over again. So good times. Yoo! Well, I keep saying it, but this is the favorite part of the day for me. We've got the promise of a new day. And when you wake up on the Wanganella banks, that anticipation is even higher because who knows what the potential of this place is. And after a day like yesterday where we encountered so many marlin, saw such unbelievable surface activity, there's a number of possibilities of what today will hold. It's a pretty amazing feeling to wake up with a glorious sunrise. Bonds Lua's already having an early morning swim and we're fired up for what today will hold. So hopefully, today's our day. I can't wait. Woohoo! Got GoPro cam out the back showing us the fish. Got a marlin in the gear. Marlin! Marlin's there he is. The oh. There he is, he's jumping, he's jumping. Click her off. Alright, we're into it. Shark bite. It's all right, here he goes. Here he comes, you got him, you got him. Watch out, he's gonna go, get ready, hold on. Well, in my opinion, there's no better way to start the day than feisty striped marlin for breakfast. Scooby's on number two for the morning. It's not even 9 a.m. I've already had two pack attacks. Could be a good day. Ooh. Destiny is one of the finest sea boats I've ever had the privilege of being on but it's certainly not built for speed so in order to chase the fish we always fight them from the bow of the boat that is until we get multiple hookups and as soon as we have the fish on the leader we walk it down the back if we can crack it off we crack it off otherwise it's Ooh. down onto the duck board set it free and then fish. get the lures back in the water as quickly as possible It's a nice lure. Got a little bit grey on the banks. A few rain clouds coming through. The marlin is showing up this morning. Yep, there he is. The one thing there we spend is. most of the day doing up here, apart from obviously fighting fish, is looking for birds. Because we know as soon as we find the birds, we find the meatballs. And as soon as we find the meatballs, we find the marlin. Whoa, he's coming at you, Scoob. Not anymore. Not anymore. You got him. Oh, here he comes. Shit. Yeah. He's quite Come pissed off. <laughs> what a yell. <laughs> Let's go. Coming back. Most of the time, this furious winding we're doing is actually just getting the belly out of the line. As soon as we hook a fish, the angler grabs the rod, walks to the bow of the boat and then will start to turn in the fish's direction, which means while the lures out the back are still working, you're getting a big belly in the main line of the fish that's hooked up. So a lot of the time we're cranking as fast as we can just trying to get that belly in and get in direct contact with that fish so we can land it as quickly as possible. Just watch this, watch that bill. Hold on tight. He's free, he's free. Good work mate, thank you. Cheers yeah, brother. Thank you. And when I'm talking about birds, this is exactly what I mean. This is the sort of thing that warms any Wanganella Banks fisherman's heart. A fresh meatball meaning fresh fish, and fresh fish means hot action. We're gonna do it again. Yeah. I think we're fishing over fish with cork? Yeah. We just need to find some fresh ones. Hit him. Here he is. This is a real team sport, this Wong and Alabanks fishing. Dave's busy fighting the fish. Scooter's got his gloves on, ready to lead her. Scooby's out the back, rigging more lures, getting ready to set them as soon as we can. I'm bouncing around the place trying to capture all the action on my camera. And we're releasing these fish as quickly as we can in perfect condition.
Off you go, brother. Yep. Hooked up again. It never stops. <laughs> Just to add to the National Geographic Day. Giant Banks Dolphins. Oh, that's a nasty belly, boy. That fish is right here. He winding, bro. He's still swimming with it. Get those rods. Oh, shit. This is not good. Oh, pandemonium. Fish jumping on top of other fish. Carnage all around. Another day on the banks. Those are marlin feeding. It's poor little bait fish getting picked on. So apparently the bait that these marlin are feasting on are called redfish and I hear that they're pretty common in Australian waters but they're certainly not something that I've ever heard of making it as far south as New Zealand. Unbelievable. This is the greatest place on earth. Well with this crazy action I couldn't turn down the opportunity to chuck on my Cressy dive gear and check out all the action that was happening below the surface. Well this day will go down in history as one of the most amazing days I've ever experienced. We've been catching marlin, we've seen more epic meatball action. As you can see the weather's just absolute glamour. I jumped in and swam on a couple of meatballs and that was a pretty magical experience, albeit a little bit intimidating, being 300 miles from the nearest land. So now, as the sun starts to dip a little bit and the afternoon drags on, I think all these marlin here are going to start going hammer. It's going to be bite time. Boys are ready. Got a fresh batch of Bonds lures out. New light gauge hooks in. It's about to be on, but this place, uh, what do you say? I mean, the footage is speaking for itself. It blows my mind. It's like fishing before man's influence. It's just a truly magical place, and it's an honor to be here. I love it. How lucky am I? Here we go. Just as we were getting emotional about what an amazing place it is, another marlin comes in, hooks up. Boys are on. The evenings are a very special time on the banks. I mean, it's no secret that change of light is the best time to catch a fish, but it's in that evening time that the Wanganella Banks really comes alive. The bites change, the fish come in a lot hotter, the hookups are way more consistent, and it's a time of day that I really look forward to. You sort of have that inevitable lull through the middle of the day, but once that sun starts to dip in the sky, the action is incredible. He's massive, man. Yeah, oh! No, no, we're right, we're right. Oh! It was fun, eh? Woo! <laughs> I don't know what it was, though, eh? I think it was a big stripey. Well, I haven't got much more to say about today, apart from here we go again. My line's going out. We've got a big one. We've got a big one. This place blows me away. We had the lures back in for about three minutes. And this one took a fancy to my Bonds Angel. Boss colour. And we got him real close pretty quick, but he's going pretty hard now. This place is paradise. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. That is for sure. Phew. Here we go. Time to do some work. Well, this is my third trip up to the banks, and I'd say the size of the fish on this trip are much bigger than what I've encountered on previous trips. Our average size would be well over 80 kilos, and the bigger models we're getting would be knocking on the door of 200 kilos. There he is. There it is. Nicely. Yeah! Yeah, the boys! That is what we came to the Wanganella Banks for. Love this place! Well you know it's a hot bite when the skipper joins us down on deck. It's either that or he's sick of oh, watching us stuff up so many fish. But the evening is certainly a magical time in a very magical place.
setting the lures. One last crack at the title. Sunset in paradise. By well, the sun setting on one of the most memorable days of my life. It's our second day on the Wangnella Banks and today I've seen more marlin than I could have ever have dreamed to have seen. I've seen them in the water, I got in and swam up to a meatball and that was a pretty amazing experience and I flew the drone over them and got some amazing aerial footage and to cap it off we've had absolutely mind-blowing fishing. So, kind of lost for words really. But we'll sign off from a magical, magical day. Phew. We've woken up this morning with blue skies, calm seas. We've got a beautiful sunrise happening in front of us and a day full of possibilities. It's day three on the Wanganella Banks. If the last two days are anything to go by, who knows what we've got in store today. But we've got a very excited crew and I just can't wait to see what's going to happen today. So here we go, day three, Wanganella Banks. Yeah. Here it is, here, here. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Well, here we are, just setting up breakfast and on my troll camera, Got a whole pack of marlin coming in. All right, clickers are off. We're attached to two fish. I got my top shot back. Man, tell you what, having your morning coffee whilst watching a live troll camera and seeing a pack of marlin come in is about as close to paradise as I could ever hope to be. There's the leader. See him? Way down. Where is he? What should we do? Do you want to walk back, Scoop? Should we go to the back, you reckon, Neil? Seems like he's swimming that way. So sick. Well hooked, eh? Beautifully hooked. Good work, team. Yee and the account is open. We'll get some more lures in the water. Catch us another one. Yeah, one on you, Scoop. He's on you, he's on you. Here we go. Yeah, there's one on the short still. We've found the fish this morning, there he is. Boy's going for it. No mucking about. Awesome. It's the way boys, go hard. Probably that fish that got caught. Nah. Nah, that was miles ago. Look at that. Always a nice feeling when that green line starts to come back on because that's our top shot, which means there's about 50 meters to go. The most common question I get after these trips is, has this ruined fishing for you back in New Zealand? And it's done exactly the opposite, you know? If a surfer goes and experiences pipeline on a perfect day, it doesn't ruin surfing for him. And for me, it just reignites that fire and that passion for fishing and exploring and it's just such an epic place to get the opportunity to come and experience. Yeah mate, nice release. It's one of the Bonds OG lures. All time. Yeah, Scotty, nice work, bro. Yeah. Ew. Oh, there he is. Saw him that time. Saw him that time. Oh, no, you're right. 
You're all right, you're all right. If you've spent any amount of time at sea, you'll know that you go away for 10 days, it's almost inevitable you're going to run into some rough stuff. So for us to be this far offshore and to have had two bluebird days with glassy calm seas combined with some epic fishing action, we've really cracked it on this trip. And the best part is we get to sit back and watch lit up striped marlin putting on one hell of a show. They're looking serious, fierce. Off. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. Keep winding, dude. Most places in the world, once you touch the leader, that fish is counted as caught, and that's exactly how we're running the show up here. As soon as we grab that leader, we're counting that as a caught fish. We're wrapping up. We're holding on as hard as we can. And the best case scenario is we pop the fish off. It swims away healthy and happy, and we get straight back into the action. Right. Woo! Nice release, team. Nice release, boysies. But well, this is absolute madness. We are just getting bit repeatedly as soon as we get the lures in. It is crazy. See how long it takes this time. He's on me. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, you know you're in a pretty special place when you chuck your lures in, the boat gets put in gear and goes for about five seconds before you're hooked up again. Whoa! Yeah. Alright, fish is on the leader. Lure's nice and high. Scooby's doing what he does best. Whoa. Well, we've just had about um, five minutes without a bite, so it gives me a moment to catch my breath and whew, reflect on what a day it's been. Actually, we haven't had a chance to do anything apart from wine fishing. We go for 30 seconds a minute and they bite again. I haven't even hardly had a chance to film, but I mean, we are experiencing the banks at their absolute finest and there's no place we'd rather be. The boys are busy chucking lures back in. We've just caught another fish. Don't know what we're up to today. We'll be into the 20s by now, but uh, man, the pace has been frantic. The fish have been fiery. The weather's been glamour. We're stoked. And I'm say any minute here, we're gonna have another fish on. But this place, so next level, so next level. I love it. Oh, he missed it. Still there. Eww. Another one there. Remember what I said about that evening time? Well, this one is no different. The way the fish feed changes throughout the day. In the morning, the bites are spectacular, but the hookup rates are low. But once that change of light, feeding frenzy comes around, the marlin's inhibitions seem to go out the window. The crash bites are spectacular. The hookups are almost perfect, and the action is incredible. Here we go, Scooby. Time to shine, brother. Time to shine. Sundown is in paradise, hanging out with the boys on the bow at Destiny while Scooby fights another feisty striped marlin. We've lost count of how many we've caught today, but there's no place I'd rather be and there's no thing I'd rather be doing. This place just blows me away every day. I'm going to sound like a broken down record, but remember what I said about the evenings? Here we go again. Here it is, here it is. Go on, go on. Alright? Go on, boy. 
Two or one? No problem, mate. Oh shit! Sorry, mate. Oh. Sorry, Scooby. Well, I would get somebody else to uh, film this, but everybody's hooked up. How is this for a sundowner? Glassy, calm conditions, 300 nautical miles from land, hooked up to Marlin, living the dream. Far out, it's hard not to get a little bit emotional and a little bit goosebumpy. This is as good as it gets. Getting yelled at by the skipper. He wants to catch more. <laughs> it's my kind of skipper right there. Can find those fish like nobody else. Anyway, I better keep winding. Get towed off again. Hey buddy. Nice one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, shit, cousin. It's the morning of day four on the Wanganella Banks, and as you can see, we've left behind yesterday's glamour conditions of glassy, calm seas and sunny skies, and we've awoken to some fairly brisk northerlies and intermittent rain showers. So I've found a gap in the rain to get the camera gear out. The lures are in, the team's fired up, and hopefully we can improve on yesterday's effort of 21 marlin. But weather is part of the banks, and you have to accept that when you come to sea for this amount of time, you're going to encounter some weather. We're prepared for it, we're on the right the boat for the job, and we're excited to rip into some hot fishing today. Phew! Fish on the teaser. Pull that teaser in. An old salty sea dog once told me that the fish bite better in the rough. So if there's a silver lining in those rain clouds hanging over us today, it's that so far this morning, it's looking like that might be true. <laughs> oh, another one there, isn't you, Scooby? Oh, they're all on, they're all on. The banks is firing now. Here's the boys. Here comes, watch that, watch that, bowsprit, wait for us. Up and over the top, up and over. Get another rep, get another rep. Get him short. Nice work. Nice testing one for you, Dave. Yeah, he's going to go on the boat. Lots it's of advice. Balance. You just got to keep bringing them in, eh? And then okay. you just yeah. rub the bite leader down it. Leader. Yeah. That's what they're here for. The meatballs. Oh, he's on the teaser, look. You pull that teaser in, bro. Oh, I'm going to get my lure right there. Pull it in or you'll lose it. Oh. Oh! 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 How sick was that? Yeah, boy! Oh! This is Marlin Madness! 
Holy fuck, over the line. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I don't know if it's the rough weather or not, but for some reason the fish are coming in short today. The bites are spectacular and the action is like nothing any of us have ever experienced before. This guy wants to be a star, mate, this fish. Watch out, watch out. That was something else, man. That was something else. That was one of the most epic bites I've ever seen. Nice. Nice one, Scotty. Right eh? <laughs> Glad he didn't lose that one. The Undertaker. Whoa, the Wong out of the banks is blowing. Sun's come out, fish are on the chew. Life is fine and dandy. Look how blue he is. There's another meatball loaded with marlin right there. Boys are getting their lures out. It is going off. There he is, right on the teaser. There's not much that excites me more than seeing a lit up striped marlin pop up on my hookless daisy chain lure. Because the teaser's running off the back of the boat, the fish comes in really close. It's super spectacular and the trick is as soon as you see the fish there, and we're trying to pull the lure right up behind it, we'll rip that daisy chain teaser back into the boat, and all things going to plan, the marlin switches its attention to the lure, and we're on. Trying to switch it there, it is nice switch, boys. Great switch, oh. been an absolutely insane start to the morning. It's a bit rougher and windy, but it seems to have just brought the marlin bite on hot. We've been switching them off the teasers. They're just crashing our lures. I think this is number seven. It's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Man, this is what we came to the banks for. I keep saying that, but this is as good as it gets. But Scotty is busy winding his fish in. I've got to do leadering duties. I'm trying to do it all. Cameraman, fisherman, wireman. Oh, it's a big fish, man. This fishing is out of this world. The bites totally changed today. The fish are eating the lures on the short. We're having amazing crash bites. We're hardly dropping anything. It's uh, 18 minutes past two, and I think that's 19 fish for the day. So, I mean, how can you say that without pinching yourself? 19 fish, 19 striped marlin. 18 minutes past two in the afternoon. The sun's shining, boys are on. This is absolute mind-blowing fishing. This is the greatest striped marlin fishery on the planet. I don't care who you are, what you say. We're in it right now, we're fishing it. So good, so, so good. Boom. Hey! Go, it's happening. Oh yeah, yeah, the ball. On you, Ben. Come on, your ball. Here's one, yours too. This is amazing. Yeah, there he comes. Yep. Mayhem on the banks. Meatballs and fish going hamburgers. In Follow your fish, Dave. Good work, mate. Yes, nice work. Here's a leader. 
Marlin. So Marlin, right? Got him in the beak. In the mouth. And he's off. Perfect release. She's been madness today. Never seen anything like it. Just fish everywhere. Mind you, I keep saying I haven't seen anything like it every day, so I guess it's just more of the same, but man, this place is just crazy. You know, having grown up with Zane Gray's Tales of Angler's El Dorado, I always had that sort of sense of sadness that I'd missed seeing a fishery in such incredible shape and it's so nice to come up here and get to experience a fishery how it's supposed to be so whew, so good here's a leader walk down the back whoa Nicely. Well, as you can see, another stunning sunset for us here in the Wanganalo Banks, which is signaling the end of another day of fishing. And once again, it's been mind-blowing stuff. The bites changed a little bit today. We had crash bites on the short lures. We didn't have as much meatball action, but still, we caught 22 marlin. Still got the lures out, so there's a possibility of a couple more. So that's a wrap, day four. And what the exciting part is, we got one more day up here. We're going to stay for one more day of fishing on the mighty Wongala banks. So fingers crossed, the weather will be kind, the marlin will be hungry, and luck will be on our side, because this place is all time. We love it. Choo! See you in the morning. Here we go, once more into the fray. And we got a bite. Which one? Woo! Filming the blooming. Filming the sunrise. And this is what happens. Marlin bites. Oh there, I can still get the sunrise as well. So this is my token sunrise shot. Dave's ruining it by running up hooked up to a marlin. Still jumping up there. Oh, it's still jumping up there. It's coming back at us. It's coming back at us. Oh, it's got the scorpion in its mouth. Sunrise on the bow of destiny. Got him, caught fish. But there's no better way to start a day in my books than having your sunrise filming interrupted by feisty striped marlin. It's just before eight in the morning, we've already got two fish on the board. The swell's kicked up, there's rain and sun and hungry marlin, and we're hoping to just enjoy this magical marlin paradise for one more day before grinding home. So I can see some birds coming up, which hopefully signals more marlin. The lures are swimming pretty, and hopefully, Right about now, you'll be seeing some more epic marlin action. More marlin mayhem. We pause for breakfast, which is always a surefire way to bring on a bite. Yoo! Yoo! He's a feisty one, boy. There's got to be more marlin here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Okay. Here, this one's going. Over top, bro. Over top. Oh, 
Oh, he's jumping again. Yes, yeah, Scotty, get into it, boy. Is that that same boss lure? The big purple one. Oh, it's the Islander. Don't lose this one. This is Neil's. <laughs> Here's the leader. Here's the fit. No, he hasn't got it yet, no. He's got it. Such a nice looking fish. Yeah, they're everywhere! Drop your lure back! Drop your lure back! Pick your rod up and drop it! Woo! This is madness! I'm gonna go this way. Oh, he's in feisty, what? Oh, sh All right. Okay. Slide the lure up, bro. That's a pig of a fish. Well, another afternoon spent the right way playing with Marlon on the Wongnella banks. It's about four o'clock on the final day of our magical Marlon adventure. And after a pretty frantic morning of action, we had a bit of a quiet period during the middle of the day. And now as the sun dips, the inevitable afternoon bite is kicking in. So, we're on 91 Marlon for the trip. Quarter to five, I think the chances of us hitting 100 are slim, but that is completely irrelevant because we have had the time of our bloody lives up here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, on the short. Yeah, there he is. Well, here we are again. Switch back to the GoPro because there's all hands required on deck. I've got the leadering gloves on. Scotty's hooked up. Scooby's hooked up. Scooby knows. We're running out of daylight hours and the fishing has just turned on like a switch. So hopefully we'll get these two and then we might get a shot at a couple more. Well here it is, the inevitable afternoon bite. We thought it might happen and it has. The boys are busy. Chucking new lures out after a multiple hookup. We had all the lures going off. Managed to land two. I got one. Scooby got one. Sun's three fingers from the horizon. So hopefully there might be a couple more in our not too distant future. Wow, well, madness. You right? Yeah, one on the short here. This is it, sun setting. Just got the first of our double. Scooby's on the next one. Dave on the leader. We're gonna have just enough light, fingers crossed, to have one more pass at these meatballs we've finally found. Here we go. <laughs> Skip's gonna keep going around to all the rods are loaded. So good. Sport fishing at its finest. Yep, 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 yep. Go, go, go. go yep, yep. Well, all good things must come to an end, and unfortunately for us, it's the end of five magical days on the Wanganella Banks. And it ended in quite a fitting manner. We had the sun setting, Marlin crashing onto our baits. It was mayhem. Not enough time for filming, it was just the time to enjoy 
this special place and it really is an honour and a privilege to get up here and see these fish living as they always have and uh, I have to pay a real special thanks to my mate Neil, he's one of the finest skippers I've ever had the privilege of being on board with, an exceptional fisherman, he's a bit camera shy, he's an unsung hero but he's one hell of a fisherman and it's an honour to be on board Destiny and uh, it's a very special to be able to come up to the Longnetal Banks and create some memories that will stick with me for the rest of my life and uh, we finished with 95 fish, it's, it's just a number but I mean it, I guess it reflects what a magnificent fishery it is. So now it's time to tidy up, reflect on an epic journey, an epic, epic adventure and to do the 55 hour grind all the way south back to New Zealand. That's it, Wong Banks, gotta love it. Woo